We are back in the Church of Horsepower. We got Dale and the King. We got the Monte Carlo. And we got a little story time. So we're driving the Monte Carlo back from Good Guys in Des Moines, 4th of July weekend. Uh, hit a bridge transition. Fuel pressure spiked to 100 PSI. I don't know if you can see it here, but right about there. I have a fuel pressure sensor on the rail. So I get it home. Uh, I'm thinking maybe it's uh, this. My filter with the built-in fuel pressure regulator. So I put a new one on and lo and behold, still have 100 PSI. So I'd already ordered a new fuel level sensor. Uh, so I can try to get that working with my instrument cluster. And as I was doing that, I find the rear end came up and kinked the return fuel line. So uh, that was causing my problem, or at least I thought. Uh, so then I fixed that, turned the car on. I have 75 PSI of fuel pressure. Uh, and these are all supposed to run on 58 PSI. It's the Corvette style filter. Uh, everybody sells them. Um, and so I was thinking, well, maybe I did install that filter before I fixed the line. Maybe having that line kinked ruined the new filter. So I put another filter on. Same thing, 75 PSI. So then I proceed to take my fuel rail apart. I'm checking stuff. I'm borrowing gauges from my buddy. Uh, I'm checking fuel pressure before the filter, after the filter, I'm dousing myself with gasoline multiple times. All to find out that it was the cheap fuel filters. So um, a lot of them will say they're a Wix filter or they'll use the Wix number. I don't even know if the one I have is a Wix filter, uh, but a lot of these knockoff ones are gonna have the same problem. And then I started reading on some forums. I guess it's pretty common. If you have an upgraded fuel pump, um, I'm running like a Walboro 210 or 255, I think, or whatever it is. It's the Hellcat pump. Uh, it's supposed to be good for like 800 or 850 uh, pump gas horsepower. Uh, those pumps will overpower these filters, and then they won't regulate down to what they're supposed to. And I, I found that out finally by hooking up the fuel pressure gauge, and my fuel pressure going into the filter was 75 and at the rail was 75, so I'm like, it's obviously not working. Uh, so I was looking and I'll show you what I found. So one of these is from AutoZone, one's from Advanced Auto Parts. They're exactly the same filter. All the clips are the same. These both, so the cheap filter you wanna stay away from. If it has this sticker, see, no go. If on the exit of the filter, it does not have the word out stamped on it. No go. But if you're reading here, the Duralast says the FF881DL replaces the Wix 33737. That, we have determined, is a lie. So, on my way back into town, I'm driving past the Napa warehouse, and this bad boy pulls up. Uh, just for reference, I think these are about $29 to $35-ish in that range for the cheap filter. And the Napa Gold filter uh, was saying it's $104. And I was like, that's ridiculous. I was reading uh, the AC Delco filters also that are up, up in that price range. I've heard don't use the AC Delco filters because they're cheap ones too. So just be wary if you see those stampings on it. When, regardless of what you paid for it, don't put that one in because you're going to have fuel pressure issues. Uh, I'll show you what this filter, the Wix filter, looks like. Like I said, this isn't a, an ad for Napa. I don't really prefer using Napa. The guy that worked there, if IQ uh, was singular, that's what this guy had. Uh, but I already had the fuel fuel uh, filter part number. I knew what I needed. Uh, and then they were in some sort of filter special. This thing was $45 after tax out the door. I don't know how, but there's some sort of filter special going on. I even tried seeing if I get a discount uh, through my brother's work, uh, and that was more money to use that. I was like, how? what kind of filter special is 50% off? But that's what they gave me. But I'm going to show you what this filter has stamped on it so you guys can hopefully avoid tearing apart your whole fuel system, uh, contemplating buying a whole new regulator and running AN lines and spending $800. Uh, so I'll show you what you need to look for. I'm too lazy to pull this back out, so I'm going to show you here. It has the word OUT stamped on the back of the filter. On the side of the filter, it shows you the flow. And then, 
here in ink. Let's see if I can get this thing to focus. 3737, made in Taiwan. That's right, China. It's a real country, and they make a high-quality fuel filter. So, an entire weekend later, and just a $45 investment uh, of a quality filter over the cheap uh, entry-level filters can save you all the time I wasted. So, I hope this helps at least one person. Uh, I hope that I can stop smelling like gasoline, because I'm three showers in, folks, and uh, still pretty stout. Uh, but the car is one step closer to getting back on the road. I'm hoping, no, I'm praying in the church of horsepower that tomorrow we can cruise. It's going to be 62 degrees. We got a pot of chili already in the crock pot, folks. It's Boostober. Lord, we are blessed. Well, guys, thanks for watching. And as always, T-Tops off.